So? so? Yes. How was it? It was amazing getting in the water again. It was so refreshing after a long time swimming and that too in river. Uh-huh. It was too good uh, like amidst all the mountains, the greenery. It was really cool. True. You like it? Hmm. You want to come back again? 100%. What's the name of this place? Daddaguli. Yes. Temple. Daddaguli. Daddaguli temple thingy. Basaveshwara temple. Yeah. And this is where right now in front of Kaveri river. This is the Kaveri river? Yeah. Yeah, we how did you feel it? Sid? Um, I feel really 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 good uh-huh. after all that uh-huh. because we even stayed in there for hours. Oh, you stay you were in the at water. At least an hour, yeah, at least an hour. Correct. And there were huge currents. Uh-huh. Sid, uh, Purvi, how was it for you? It was amazing. Oh, yeah. uh-huh. So oh. it's good. Okay, and what's the name of the place? Kattaguli. No. <laughs> Dabbaguli. Ah, Dabbaguli. <laughs> this interesting outing to Dabbaguli started this way. Oh. Tomorrow we are going to the trip. We are going yep. to the trip? Yep. 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 Don't read the books. Excitement. What? Excitement. Excitement. Yay. So what's the plan for tomorrow? Let's what time we are leaving? Everybody is going to leave at 6.30 sharp. Four, 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 four. Six. And we are going to climb a mountain from the Ukraine. It's Kaveri River. Uh, it's Kaveri River. How far is that, Papa? Yeah. How far is it? It's just 100 kilometers from uh, our home. Okay, I have a question. Yeah. Um, uh, the question is that now Nada is booked. Uh-huh. Huh? Yeah, Nada is booked. Okay, okay, okay. How is it? At any cost. Sit, sit, sit. Yeah. Illa, it depends on the rain. If it's raining, we can't go. I have a raincoat. He has a raincoat. We have big umbrellas. See, if it's raining, what are you going to do there? After going, we can't do anything, right? Until the rain goes. We can let the rain and we can swim in the rain. So, you, you think even if it's raining, we all should go? Yeah. There are a few instructions. It's forest area. Okay. Yay. Is it climbing? Okay. Huh? Is there climbing? You can uh, trek, but yeah. uh, there's no climbing, there's no mountain there. Okay. So, it's a, it's a beautiful place. Yeah, the but one side, much. it is Karnataka. The other side of the river is Tamil Nadu. Uh, and uh, see, Nadu you, Nadu I'll, I'll just tell you the packing list. Yeah. Okay. Uh, you need to... Wait, wait, wait. Still ready, packing list. A pair of clothes. A pair of clothes? Yeah. If you get wet, if you get into water, okay. if your clothes get dirty, I'm gonna bring the swimming suit. and uh, a raincoat, mm. third one, warm clothes, like a sweater or a jacket, Okay. good shoes, huh? sneakers, crocs, uh, sneakers. one pair of crocs, I don't have crocs, while, while traveling, and if at all we are trekking, if at all we are walking in the jungle, we need a good pair of shoes. Um, I don't have crocs. About that, I don't have any... Sneakers. I only have my Crocs yeah. and my Happy Feet. Uh, happy Feet is good. Two bottles of water. And we need to carry some uh, energy bars. Wow! I don't have energy bars. What are energy bars? Kit Kat. Chikki. Oh, chikki. I have, I have paper boats. Huh? Have paper paper boats, Chikki Jiva. Good. I have many. Yeah, I don't good. have any. Good. Can you, can you get it for everybody? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Cool. I have whole pack. Right now. And uh, we need to no carry spread. food. Yeah. I don't want to carry anyone's food. You're gonna carry your food? Very important. Mm-hmm. Whenever we are in forest, do not make noise. That's rule number one. Okay? If you make it. noise, you're gonna attract animals. That's uh, number one. That, that, number two, the most important one, do not litter. Thro- don't throw plastics here and there. Huh? About the second, first rule. Huh? Is it okay if we attract animals? Because at least we're gonna see them. But, but they can see, attack you. If, if it's a wild animal, it is risky, right? After very, very, very long, we are going out for a trip. So, let's have fun, guys. So, see you all tomorrow. Can you guys tell me where we are going tomorrow? Kaveri River. No. Kaveri. It's called... Kaveri. It's called Dabaguli Basaveshwara Temple. Dabaguli. Dabaguli. Dabbaguli, Dabbaguli. Why did you change the Dabbaguli? No, it is it is Kaveri River, but the name of that that point is called Dabbaguli. Dabbaguli. What is it called? Dabbaguli. 
What is it called? Dabbagudi. What is it called? Dabbagudi. 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 Yeah. Let's have fun, guys. You. Okay. Yeah. Sitting in the park. Okay, make some noise, yeah! Everything was set. We started an early morning so that we could have breakfast on the way. We are stopping over for breakfast at Kanakpura. Kote Idli Mane is a very old place that gives the best steaming idlis with tasty chutney. Kids enjoyed having idlis in Kote Idli Mane. Just now we had idlis and now we are starting from Kanakpura. And next stop is Dabbaguli. Yeah! After crossing Kanakpura, make sure you take the Dabbaguli Basveshwara Temple Road as there are two places by the same name. The Kaveri River Basin Dabbaguli is closer to Manchin Dam. We took some stopovers here and there so that children could get to experience the rawness of nature. They were so thrilled about everything around, including the tube well which they saw for the first time. As we travelled through the rustic village road, I was so amazed and surprised that such a scenic place ever existed and that too so close to my place. It's just about 100 odd kilometers from my home. The feel was as if we were travelling in some hill station. clear blue sky with white clouds, the different hues of green, the mountains all around, fields adjacent to the road, everything looked so spectacular. exciting part was off-roading. The bumpy road was all the more fun with bubbling children around. Some parts of the road is smooth and uh, some stretches are just trails left by vehicles. It's always better to travel in a vehicle with high ground clearance. Otherwise, your attention will be more on road and taking care of your vehicle than enjoying the surroundings. If you are a biker, then you will enjoy this journey. Most bikers ride to Dabbaguli to experience the rough terrain. As we were nearing Dabbaguli, the excitement was so high. We could see the river from far. Oh my. 
my gang was so eager to jump into the water. We had packed food from home and it was fun having a little picnic there. We don't get to buy anything there. It's best to carry everything that is needed, including packed food. After resting for a while, we started back to Bangalore. You can. Again, we had few stops. Now my gang turned into little monkeys. Watching them swinging from prop roots was so much fun. I have always loved being in nature and I feel every child should experience the fun of being in nature. Whenever I get an opportunity, I encourage my little gang to spend more time in nature. It's so different than their regular activities. There are many creative ways of entertainment, lots of fun without gadgets or structured activities. Now, my little gang has taken a liking for many outdoor activities, from short hikes to long drives, climbing trees to gathering things, observing insects to bird watching everything that nature offers. It is always the journey that gives more experiences. If the destination is also beautiful, it's very, very fulfilling. Phantom says, it's never too late. Life is so beautiful. There is so much to explore. There is so much to experience.